Xehanort! You wanna fill me in? I am. Hey! Do you remember now, or... Wait. Did you never lose your memory? That's not my name. I'm not Xehanort. What? something else. Riku, a storm's coming. I know. The waves are getting steep. Furl the sail. Right. Not 
only can you mod your deck, you can also change keyblades, check your status, and just game settings and more. Oh, whoops. Whoopsies. I just completely stopped that up. And now Riku is with us. Now, the reason why I only went on to standard mode was because for me this game is kind of a little bit hard. I know I probably could have did crowd mode, but um, I just wanted to go back low a little bit. Easy with Ursula. We're usually hitting her face anyway. But the saddest part with this one is that we don't have like a special finishing command. Oh, whoops, I wasn't meant to use that. for any other boss battles that decide to come up. Both 
of you are self-taught keyblade wielders. An impressive feat. However, the time has come for you to let go of preconceived notions. Forget what you know about the keyblade. And begin your training again with a clean slate. Huh? Oh. But that's a formality, right? I already proved myself. Me and the king and Riku, we can take on anything. Right, Riku? I don't know. I think that in my heart, darkness still has a hold. Walking that path changed me. I'm not sure if I'm ready to wield a keyblade. Maybe I do need to be tested. Riku. Then count me in. Put me through the test. Just watch. Me and Riku will pass with flying colors. <laughs> I seriously doubt that. Very well then. Sora and Riku, let your examination begin. Perfect. So the Keyblade information, Keyblade Master information, and Master Xehanort's information. Or whatever you want to call them. So this time it's a little bit different with what we have to do. So dive mode. This is how we get into different types of world. This is like our gummy ship thing. Um, we always have a time limit that we have to do. Sometimes I might succeed, sometimes I may not. If I don't, I will do it off screen because there is a special cool thing that we'll get once we have completed all of these and it would be nice to have it. So right now we need to try and get up to 600 points within, I think it's under a minute in order to get um, a secret because we, we, we always get a prize if we manage to always get an eight plus. For something. Huh? This is Traverse Town. Hey, what's with my clothes? Must be more of Master Yen Sid's magic. Okay. I don't know about any game. 
But can I help? What? Time out. Do you trust every total stranger you meet? Yep. Look, sorry. You're no good. You're not a player. And my pack's with someone else. Okay, so we can't be partners. Why don't I just help you out as your friend? Now we're friends? <laughs> it's not that easy. Not saying it is, but you could make it easier. Yeah, sounds great. Whatever. Cool. Lead the way. Oh. Okay, sadly I would be missing these, but since because I'm doing a playthrough, I need to show you guys what to do. Well, not show you, but show you how I would do it. Right, so practically we just need to do this. And then we can fly. Fly onto the lamp post to gain speed. Just before we continue on, there are two treasure chests that I do would like to have. So let's just say that this new thing is really a part of the game now. this game 
um, the world of the world around you, um, there's all different shapes and sizes in each world, so when we come up to it, we need to press triangle and circle at the same time to unleash something, uh, to unleash in a, a slingshot, to hit an enemy or to break stuff. So I'm just going to use the potion one. So we can do it any way we want to. And that's pretty much how we do that. So, yeah. Um, you never know what might be hiding there. And we've completed that. And now we can just go and follow. Hey, I didn't catch your name. Dreamers. That's a weird name. Not me. Them. Right. I knew that. No, you didn't. Don't let them surround us. Let's split up. Got it. Oh, uh, it's Neku. Huh? Neku Sakuraba. You asked. Neku Sakuraba. That's a mouthful. No, it's really not. <laughs> Come on, Neku. Let's take him. Alright, so a tutorial again. Nightmares, which devour happiness. 
happy dreams and benevolent spirits which consume the nightmares. The dream eaters will guide you just as the heartless ones guided you to the keyhole you seek at the heart of each world. And those are the ones that we are going to be using. So we have the heartless and we have a meow wow recipe which I've already got him so um you will often receive dream pieces when you defeat nightmares um that are the spirits that we will be controlling you can use these dream pieces to create spirits friendly dream eaters go ahead and get started by selecting spirits here on the menu we have no choice otherwise. Alright, so there's a few ways, there's two different ways to create dream eaters. You can create them if you use a recipe or you can create them by the other side, which is that side there. Um, there's all different kinds of dream eaters that we can have. Sadly, there wasn't any spiders, which, to be honest, I feel that it would have been cool if there was a spider in here. In the game, not in my room, I'll be running. Um, also, when we do unlock different types of spirits, we can give them commands. Also, they give us special abilities and commands. Um, we can have up to three in our party. So, we're going to make one. Like, there's no point. Oh, whoops. Um, you can control of how much you want to level them up, how much stuff you want to use, and I'll just give them a potion because it's not like I'm going to be probably using this one anyway. Um, so here is our first dream meter that we have created. So, Meow Well. Um, you can choose a name if you want to, but I usually don't, so I skip this one. So that's all of the stuffs and things it has. Um, looks like you and Meow are starting off great so far, which is what we like to hear, because in order to keep them, we need to keep them happy. So, you can with the spirit animals because there are a bunch of times when we're able to come in and give them a wee pet, have a few games with them, um, level them up with their, how it says, three out of three, it goes up higher than that. Um, also with the abilities that I was talking about, sorry, I keep cutting that out. But now what we have to do is we need to pet it. Um, this is what we can do with it. So I'm just going to pet it for a little bit just until it tells me when to stop. to unlock a new power as well. So we can unlock Link Critical, which gives us the ability to use um, our, cre uh, our pets, spirits. Um, when you bonding with your spirit, press L1 to enter photo mode. Um, text box will appear, give the perfect for a screenshot. Great. Tutorial is done. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is where we're going. 
because since I have all of my ability, all my ones here, what I'm going to do because with this one, and I'll have you. So the only reason why, oh and see, one of my dragons, I've named him Axel, but one of them has, um, has maxed out. So the reason why I have chosen to have this other type of dragon is because of Super Glide. And Super Glide will come in handy for when I am in a need. Um, but just before we disappear, because there are a few treasure chests that I want to get off before I start leveling up to level 5. We go up here. There's one here. kind of special balloon but that is for our pets okay so now what I'm gonna do guys is that I'm going to go off screen just for a little bit I'm gonna quickly save save on number 20 so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be on level 5 when we get back here hopefully I'll have my super glide and yeah I'll be back <laughs> 